Welcome back guys, JDog here at Seekerhost and today we're going to be going over how we can set up our names.co.uk domain to be hosted with Seekerhost Hosting. This is going to be if you've got yourself a domain with names.co.uk and you want to find yourself some really good hosting to go with it, uh, boasting lots of free features like free SSL, free business email, Google and Clicky Analytics, a custom built dashboard that makes it super easy to be able to navigate your way around and manage everything from your WordPress sites, PBM blogs if you have any, your tracking sites and also your domain. Of course if you are looking to get a domain yourself come check us out, we've got a huge sale on at the moment with up to 50% off .com domains, up to 76% off online domains and many others as well. So come over, check it out if you haven't got your domain already, you can use our easy search bar um, and find yourself a perfect domain for your website however with that let's get into the video so let's start off on the main page of names.co.uk and what we're going to be doing of course once logged in is we're going to be going to our control panel on the top right right here once loaded up just navigate your way down to the bottom of the page and we're going to be going to change name servers so we're not going to change them right now but we're going to keep this page up because we're going to need this page to actually change them over the way that it works is that you need to have the name servers provided by your host and you need to connect them with your domain that way when people click on your domain or they search for it, it's going to bring them to the website that you created, therefore making the connection link between your domain and the actual hosting. Now with that up, we're going to come over to seekerhost.app and we're going to sign in. If you haven't got an account, it's going to be super quick and easy for you to create one. Simply head on over to sign in and then navigate your way down to sign up. Once you enter in your details here, you're good to go and you can even go and check out for free our management dashboard and see how it all works as well. Once you're in, you're going to be brought up to the main dashboard page. This is where you can actually manage everything. You can even search for new domains if that's what you wish to do through a search bar on here. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding this as a WordPress site so we're going to head over straight to WordPress sites over here. Now this is going to keep all of the list of your WordPress sites and what you can do here is you can simply with a one click um, installer um, install another WordPress site. So on the top right we're going to come to create WordPress site uh, and we're going to hit create. Now simply put in your domain in the top section there but just make sure you don't put the www dot you don't need that bit in here. Then follow it up with a blog title. Next up, we're going to keep our WordPress site visible. Of course, if you don't want it to be visible, untick this. Um, however, I don't see why you would want to do that. Completely up to you at the end of the day, though. So next up, we're going to be choosing the package or hosting package. Now, if you haven't got yourself a package already, you can come over to the hosting plans on the left-hand side and then just come over, check out the WordPress hosting, and you can grab yourself a plan. Um, you will get prompted to otherwise anyway. Um, it's just if you wanted to check out yourself, you can come and you can see uh, for only £1 a month, you can grab yourself a WordPress site um, with up to 2 gigabyte web space, free email account, free SSL, one-click installation, malware scanning, DDoS protection, and all the good stuff that you're going to want with a WordPress site. If you have got multiple sites then of course just go for a larger package and of course I do suggest having most of your sites on here because it's so easy to manage multiple sites. So let's say you have a big old network of about 10 sites, 20 sites, it's much easier to have them all in one place. This is also because you can install Clicky and Google Analytics into your Seekerhost portal meaning that you can check out all your analytics all in one place. Anyway with that with your hosting uh, plan chosen let's go back to the screen and what you'll find is that once you have chosen your plan it will pop up on the bottom here which will make it available to choose of course you will be prompted to if you haven't to already so we're going to choose our plan and we're going to go ahead to add wordpress site so it's going to create it and it's going to create the connection also most importantly it's going to create our name servers which is all that we need to actually connect these two together now this can take anywhere from a minute or two maybe up to five minutes depending doesn't usually take very long once that's all done we can just hit the action button and continue perfect so with that all done we're going to be come over to the action button here and on here you're going to get all your wordpress site information so one thing to note is that your username and your password will disappear after you activate the free ssl certificate so just take a note of this you can click on the little eye here and it will show you the password alternatively what we'll also do is it will send you an email um, to the email that you registered with and that will also contain your username and password so don't worry too much if you do click that SSL that you activate it and then this goes off the screen you will still be able to log in now the important bit that we need is right here the um, ns1 seeker app control room.com and the ns2 those are your two name servers so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be copying that over and then we're going to come back over to the name.co.uk site where we have our domain registered on the page that we left it on in the first name server column, that's exactly where we're going to paste it. If we come over again, we're going to grab our second name server. The only actual difference here is NS2, uh, depending on what you're using. If you're using a PBM blog, it is going to be a different name server. So just make sure that you copy down the correct ones. Now it's simply a case of just pasting that into there. And all we've got to do now is hit update. 
Now, just a warning, name servers um, can take from 12 to 48 hours to actually propagate, um, so this can take a little while, unfortunately. This is out of Seeker host control, um, but once it has been propagated properly by the other company, then we'll be able to activate the SSL certificate for you to get your HTTPS rather than HTTP, which means you also have a padlock um, next to your domain. Makes it much more safe, looks much better, and it's more secure for data. As you can see here, it's warning us it might take a little bit of time, however, they have changed the name servers, um, so they will take effect shortly. Now one clever way to be able to check if your name servers have changed over from the Seekerhost app control room for this particular um, WordPress site, we're gonna come down to Leaf DNS here. What this is gonna do, it's gonna show you the servers. And as you can see here, it's actually changed over quite quickly. Uh, we have the name servers there, which means they've propagated over along with the IP. Sometimes though, just be aware that although it even shows your name server change, it does take a little while for it to properly propagate. However, let's give it a go. It is saying that it is on the Leaf DNS, so let's just check it out. So the next step here, before you log in, is going to be to come over to your SSL. Um, and again, don't forget to take note of your username and password. It's just much easier to have taken note than to have to search for your emails. Now, all you've got to do here is simply click the button. Um, and if they have been propagated, um, perfect, there we go. So that was relatively quick. Now just take 30 minutes and the SSL certificate will be installed. And that's all done now. You've changed it over. You've got your hosting with Seekerhost, uh, taking advantage of all the great features there with a domain that you've already registered with another company. In this case, names.co.uk. Now if we head back to our WordPress site info, what we're gonna see on the left-hand side is a nice little preview of our page. And this is gonna be showing, this will get updated as soon as you update your page. You can always make sure that it's online through your Seekerhost portal. You can use this page to check out your current disk space you can do backups check your SSL check your subscriptions and also create a free email account if you wanted to do that simply click email accounts from here you can change um, the first bit of your email to whatever you want I'm just gonna put mine admin then it'll be at your local SEO studio.com because it will also follow your domain to make it more of a business email much more professional after that simply create a password click email and you will see your email is there on the bottom you can then instantly connect using the information that you've just provided and that's all it takes to create yourself an email here as well not only that we have got some great prices if you are running a private blog network and you're going to want yourself a number of blogs here as you can see not only are is one blog 95p per blog but the more blogs that you get it actually goes down in price so if you get up to a hundred IP PBN you're going to only be paying 70p per blog uh, for the hosting of it which is a huge saving not only that you're going to get yourself a unique IP a unique name server and the whole process has been designed to leave zero footprints making your personal blog network undetectable so you can keep on growing and keep on growing that money site or use this as a consultancy so thanks for watching and we'll catch you again on the next video bye bye